In the 1990s, there was no comedian bigger than Sinbad. As a phenomenal storyteller, he captured huge audiences with his charismatic energy, loud shirts, and goofy persona. Audiences were known to wipe tears from their eyes and hold their stomachs whenever they attended a Sinbad show. A large amount of Sinbad's appeal was that he always worked clean, making him a family-friendly commodity. Along with his appeal on stage, Sinbad's TV and movie roles matched that, quickly making him a household name. However, sometime after a decade ended, we saw less and less of Sinbad on our screens. It appears that there are several reasons why Sinbad would fade back into the unknown. Here's why we stopped seeing Sinbad. Sinbad was born David Atkins in Benton Harbor, Michigan. After graduating high school in Michigan, Sinbad attended the University of Denver where he played basketball for two seasons as a forward. He initially had intentions of playing professionally, but while at school, he was not one of the coach's favorites and grew to be unhappy while playing there. Sinbad eventually dropped out just weeks before graduating and joined the Air Force with the goal of becoming a chopper pilot. However, without a college degree, the most he could settle for was a boom operator. I thought basketball was going to be the key then. As time went on, other things happened. I didn't make Air Force basketball and went into the Nile. So I kept going AWOL. My mother kept begging me to go back. I told her, no, I'm not going back. I'll just grow a beard. They won't recognize me. I'll just be another black man with a beard. I was going to Georgia Tech to learn about computers. I'd go AWOL all the time. I'd just leave. I'd come back hoping they would throw me out. In 1981, Atkins would get his first taste at Sinbad. He would try out for an Air Force talent show. According to the story, Atkins would choose the name Sinbad after the sailor Sinbad, someone known as a leader in mythology. Sinbad would go on to win multiple contests on the base and was able to emcee other shows. Stationed in Wichita, Kansas, Sinbad would begin to make trips downtown to the local comedy club where he first got his start in telling jokes. I won it out because I had achieved all that I could have achieved. I wanted to get on with my life. The Air Force wanted me to re-enlist. We had a problem. I went AWOL. By the time I was discharged, I had no rank, no sleeves, no shirt. I spent the next couple of years hitching rides on Greyhound buses from one comedy club to another. When Sinbad began to focus on stand-up comedy, his rise to the top did not take long. He appeared on Star Search a total of nine times, eventually making it as a finalist before losing. Despite the fact that he didn't take home the final prize, his performances left an impression on everyone, and he was soon cast as a recurring character on The Red Fox Show in 1986. The first taste of Hollywood success wouldn't last long, however, as the show would get canceled after 13 episodes. But Sinbad was only getting started, as he would get another chance on the small screen when he was cast as Coach Walter Oaks on A Different World. He would play a recurring role for the show's first season, but was promoted to the main cast at the start of season two. While filming A Different World, Sinbad would then serve as the host of Showtime at the Apollo from 1989 to 1991. At the same time, he began to release series of HBO stand-up comedy specials. Between 1990 and 1998, Sinbad starred in four one-hour-long stand-up comedy specials for HBO, as well as hosting several award shows and making multiple stand-up appearances on other shows. There was no comedian who was in demand like Sinbad during the 90s. Aside from TV, Sinbad also found success in movies. Films like Necessary Roughness, House Guests, First Kid, Jingle All the Way, and Good Burger would end up being a few of Sinbad's starring roles. Sinbad's star continued to rise, and in 1993, he was even offered his own sitcom for Fox, simply called The Sinbad Show, where Sinbad becomes a single parent after he adopts two children, one of them played by a young Ray J. However, unfortunately for Sinbad, the show was canceled after its first season. This episode of Here's Why is presented by Herbal Results. The U.S. National Institute of Health Studies show that Herbal Results products naturally reverse symptoms of high blood pressure, diabetes, eczema, seizures, kidney disease, herpes, and more. Visit HerbalResults.net to review video testimonials, scientific data, and to purchase their life-restoring products. Results speak louder than words. As the 2000s would creep in, Sinbad's The Man would take a noticeable dive for a number of reasons. Around this time, he continued to make a few one-episode guest appearances on some sitcoms like Moesha, Girlfriends, and Are We There Yet? 
but Sinbad wouldn't have another starring role until 2018's Rail, which again, like the Red Fox show, would get canceled after just 12 episodes. In 2009, after nearly a decade of being out of the spotlight, Sinbad would file for bankruptcy and would explain his situation when he appeared on Oprah, Where Are They Now? I went bankrupt. My thing is, I never bought a Bentley, I never lived large, I believed in me, I invested in me, and I invested in a lot of other people. I would not change it. I look at the bankruptcy and losing the house and I said, God took that house, it's time to get another one. Four years later in 2013, he filed for bankruptcy a second time, claiming that he owed $11 million. During an interview with Mark Lamont Hill, he revealed that he spent a lot of money intended for business expenses. Sinbad said that he was counting on landing a movie role in order to cover those costs. I spent money and I kept thinking, I get one more movie and I wipe these bills out. But that movie never came. A year later, in an attempt to alleviate some of his debt, Sinbad agreed to be on the newest season of Celebrity Apprentice, a decision that he would soon regret after being fired on just the second episode. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want Donald Trump to say, you're fired. Who the heck is Donald Trump to fire me? I regret that I didn't tell Donald Trump to fire your barber. Celebrity Apprentice wouldn't be the only reality show Sinbad would be involved in. For a short time, he starred in his own show called Sinbad, It's Just Family, which explored his real-life family challenges. The series would feature his wife, Meredith Fuller, whom he divorced after seven years of marriage and two children in 1992. The couple, however, ended up getting remarried in 2002, where the two remain together till this day. Another reason for Sinbad's absence is he hasn't always been in the best of health. In 2010, Sinbad used social media to notify his fans of a knee replacement surgery he had to undergo. He received two new joints that he likes to call his bionic knees. Unfortunately, the surgery would leave him with one leg longer than the other. In 2015, Sinbad would face another surgery, a double fusion back surgery. He would go on to tweet a photo out after the 10 hour procedure. Despite his decline in roles, Sinbad has continued to perform on stage. Aside from making audiences laugh when he hits the stage, Sinbad is also known to tour the country as a musician, performing under the name Memphis Red and the Stink Nasty Band. I do funk and comedy. I'm doing comedy from behind the guitar. People couldn't get past me being in a band. So I said, let me create an alter ego. My name is Memphis Red and he's a whole different cat. Sinbad's daughter Paige is also in the band as a singer. Paige has always wanted to be on stage like her father, but telling jokes wasn't her specialty. When the stank nasty band is performing, it serves as bonding time for the two. Before Rel, Sinbad hadn't appeared in a main role since 1998 when he hosted Vibe. And as far as stand-up comedy, Sinbad's last stand-up special premiered on Comedy Central back in 2014. For now, the comedy legend appears to be in good health and still tells jokes till this day. By being a leader of his destiny, Sinbad, much like the mythical character, continues his journey.